Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I've got a little I Heart Revolution throwback video for you. I'm slowly working through my collection and I'm doing videos with all of my eyeshadow palettes and I just think it's really fun to go back through your collection. These were some of my first ever eyeshadow palettes and I'm just very excited that I've still got them in the collection. This did come from I Heart Revolution years and years ago. I do believe there was a mermaid one as well but I don't actually have that one. But these three are adorable. Today I'm going to be doing the Unicorn Heart eyeshadow palette. I've been a big fan of the OG I Heart Makeup, I Heart Revolution products. I think they're quite quirky. This is one of my all time favourites so I'll show it to you now. This one I do believe came out around 2019-18 era I want to say. It's in this beautiful iridescent packaging. On the back it looks like this and this was part of the Unicorns Heart collection. There were quite a lot of other items that came with this. I just think this is a really cute palette so we're going to do a look today. If you like beauty, makeup and hair, YouTube content then please subscribe because I do make a lot of that. First I'm going to pop some highlighter on so I thought it'd be fitting to use the I Heart Revolution Starstruck Highlighter. This is what the Starstruck Highlighter looks like. It's absolutely beautiful. It's in a cute star shape and the payoff is like that. I've been wearing this daily recently. I've swapped it out for my Love Island highlighter but I absolutely love it. I'm just going to pop that on first just to give me a little bit of glow. I love it. I love it so much. I love it when you find a highlighter or makeup items that you just love daily and probably things that you wouldn't really initially expect to love so much. And what I love about iHeart Revolution is that their products are unusual. They're kind of quirky, like I said. Just the look of these items is just so adorable. Their products do actually give me 90s vibes as well, like Polly Pocket era. And I do actually have all of their original Polly Pocket-esque eyeshadow palettes too. I will be digging the Heartbeats one out for Valentine's Day as well, which I'm so excited about. I just love this kind of thing. So if you want to see more throwback videos for My Heart Revolution, please subscribe because there's loads coming. I also will be doing videos with these two, so the Angel Heart and the Dragon's Heart. Look at that pink. I can't get over it. It's beautiful. But first we're going to look at the Unicorn Heart. As I said, this is what it looks like. I'm going to open the palette now so you can see. This one doesn't have a mirror in it. I do believe back then a lot of them didn't have mirrors in. But these are what the pans look like and they're absolutely stunning. My favourite one was always this shade here because I mean oh my goodness and then this pink one we all know I'm going to be using those today they're just so so pretty I've just primed my eyes using the Revolution Ultimate Eye Base and I'm going to take my winged spectrum brush shimmer to matte ratio most of these do have a little bit of sparkle in but this one here looks the most matte out of them all so I'm going to pop my wing colour as this one pigment wise it looks a lot more pigmented on the brush than it did in the pan so I'm excited to create the wing out of this as I said before this is one of my favourite all time eyeshadow palettes it means a lot to me just because it's one of the first ones that I got when I really started getting into makeup and YouTube again and just doing beauty videos and things this one brings back a lot of pleasant memories so I love it this is kind of a movie colour and it's really cute actually ignore the fact I've got a hoodie on today I just can't seem to get warm I think it's so much fun going through your collection as well just because I am one of those people that doesn't really feel the need to declutter I love watching declutter videos so much but I just, I'm not at that stage where I feel like I want to throw anything away. I don't need to. I've got space for it. I don't feel like I've got overkill. I feel like I've got everything that I love kind of thing. With these throwback videos, what I'm hoping to do is just go through my old collection and just go back to the things that I really, really loved. And hopefully that way I can get more use out of my things. I also love watching throwback videos from other people as well, so when they go through the collection. Because just because the collection came out a long time ago doesn't mean it's not cool still, and I really enjoy that. I know we all get a buzz out of a new release and things, but going back in your collection reminds you how you felt when it was released. And it's still an amazing product. I love this. This brings me so much joy when I look at it. So many good memories, so I'm excited to dig it out. That's why I've got my eyes so far. I'm really liking the colour of that. What I want to do... <laughs> is not ingest it. I'm going to go in this colour here next. It's a purple. These three colours here, so the purples, they all go really well together. What I'm going to do is take this dark purple here and pop it on the inner corner. There's something about violet eyeshadow that I really love as well. I have got the Violet Crush eyeshadow palette by I Heart Revolution and it's hands down one of my favourites. It's so cute. And I'm just going to blend that purple into the crease slightly. But yeah, those colours go really nicely together. I'm going to do the same on the other side now. And I think the colours in this palette as well do really match the theme well. I'm definitely feeling unicorn when I look at this palette. 
Next I'm going to take this pink shade down here. So this is another metallic. It looks so cute. Definitely unicorn vibes there. Kind of reminds me of candy floss. I'm going to pop that in the centre of the lid. I'm going to use a little brush to do this one. And then I'm just going to dab on the lid like that. From what I remember, this one does have a nice sparkle. But it takes a little bit to build up. Yeah, I can definitely see the sparkle. But we're going to dig right in the pan there. And get as much as we can on the brush. And as I said, with this one being an older palette, it has got an older formula. There is quite a lot of fallout under my eye, you can see there. All I do is take a clean brush and buff it out like that. That's cute. I definitely think purples and pinks are my favourite combination. I always seem to gravitate towards things that are pink and purple. But I guess that's how you find what you like, so I'm not complaining. I'm just going to take a clean fluffy brush now and just go over the centre of my eyelid like this just to blend the lines between the pink that I've just put on and the purples underneath. That's what I've got on my eyes so far. I really love the tones of this one. I think the purples and the pinks go really nicely together. Obviously, it's not the most pigmented palette in the world, but for memory factors and nostalgia, I love it. I'm going to take this purple shade now, so it's quite a dark colour, and I'm going to run this under the waterline. And I'm just using that colour to define the wing a little bit more as well. And then I'll do the same on the other side. And I'm going to go back in this pink now and I'm going to run this over the top of my eyelid. And what I love about iHeart Revolution, I always say this about their products, I really do think their eyeshadow palettes and their makeup collections do inspire creativity because I think they're a lot of fun. There's no seriousness in iHeart Revolution and I just, I love that, I love that about them. I absolutely love the colour story of this palette. I think it is so beautiful. Definitely screams unicorns. That's what I've got on my eyes. I really like this. I think I am tempted to just take my little finger in this one again. So it's the little baby sort of pastel violet colour. And then I'm just going to dab that on the centre of the eye like this. Because I want to brighten the centre of the lid up slightly. I think that was exactly what I needed. I'm just going to pop the Rem Beauty mascara on and then we'll hear my thoughts. That's my finished look using the iHeart Revolution Unicorns Heart eyeshadow palette. I absolutely love this throwback. I think the colour story is so beautiful. It definitely screams unicorns and I'm just so excited that I've got it in my collection. It is quite hard to get hold of now, but I think if you're a makeup collector and you love Revolution, then this is the thing for you. It was quite cheap as well at the time. I think it was about £6. It just brings me so much joy to see it, so I'm definitely excited to have dug it out of my collection again. It actually sits pride of place in my collection, I'm not gonna lie. It's very much visible all the time just because it has such good memories with it I really like the eye look that we've managed to create with it today I think it's a very nice soft pastel pink and purple look and you definitely can get a lot of looks with this palette If you like pinks and purples, thank you so much for watching my I Heart revolution throwback video again I will be doing lots of these I'm so excited to dig through my collection and to just throw loads of makeup videos out there things that I truly enjoy So if you want to see that then please subscribe and remember you can follow me on instagram That's at zoe glitters Zoe with a Y for more makeup, beauty and hair content. I'll see you in the next video. Bye!